Very quickly, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. His link will be down in the description below if you want to go check him out. Uh, he basically offers all kinds of different like XP services or money services in in video games like GTA or Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite. There's skin stuff. There, there's a bunch of stuff. You can go check it out if you want to. If you don't, then it's fine. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is the Better Dare Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a solo money and XP glitch in the game of Red Dead Online. It's a little hottie spot video, hottie spotty. Uh, this is probably the best one that I found for today. Uh, this specific location because there is a dig spot that's normally not here. It's the arrowhead and then there's also a bunch of other things you can grab even if you don't have a shovel. See right here is the arrowhead and then there's other things here that we're going to be grabbing as well. In like in the top of these tower things on each corner. I believe there's, yeah, there's, you can see there's a card up there. But regardless if that's going to be there or not for you, you can do the little force spawn glitch, which is extremely simple, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Stand about where I'm standing at in the middle of this fort, just to show you one more time on the map so you're not confused. Uh, quickest way to get here would be to fast travel to Van Horn, and then you can get here. Now, once you're here, you just want to press the pause button, go to online, and then find a new free roam session. Now, that's not going to force spawn the dig spot, because you cannot force spawn diggables. You can only force spawn things that are like out in the open like something that you can visually see and grab without having to dig up but regardless like if you come here any other day uh, and the diggable's not there then you can still do this little find new session trick and then spawn in all the other items that we're going to be grabbing in this video as well real quick i'm gonna run you down just in case you're new uh, you can only do this one time per 24 hours on the playstation platform that goes for ps4 and ps5 on the xbox and pc you can do it an unlimited number of times but there is an extra step involved after you grab everything you got to close your application clear your reserve data for Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox, and then on the PC, you would uh, grab everything, close the application, and then clear everything in your temp folder. And you also do want to have the collector roll, because if you don't, you can't sell these items, but you still can pick them up and get XP for it, and then whenever you do eventually get the collector roll, you can sell all those items to her. I'm somehow shooting while I'm in the loading screen. That happens sometimes. I don't know why. But I spawned over here, so we're just going to run back up into the fault. So first, we're going to go ahead and get the arrowhead. This will be a random arrowhead. So it could be one of the more expensive ones, could be one of the cheaper ones. It's all up for the game to decide. And I got a slate arrowhead. I have no idea what that one's worth. Uh, but now we're going to go up this ladder right here and then grab the card that's on these crates, boxes, things, whatever. And then we're going to head this direction. If my character stops seizing out, man, he just automatically jumped. I'm going to go this direction, up this ladder, and there should be a card in this window seal. If it's not here, like I said, find a new session. That should be there, regardless of what day you're here. And then after that, we're going to go over here. I don't believe there's anything in this building. Uh, nope. Nopers. And we're going to go this way into here. And the card is on the floor. Or no, it's on, it's on a barrel right here. You don't have to go up the ladder for this one if you took the route I went. And now that we've gotten that item, we can go over here, and then inside of this little cabin, there is an underground passageway. And there's going to be another card right here on these crates. Pick that up, and then if we turn to our left, there's a chest here. And inside of this chest, there should be a piece of jewelry or an heirloom, one of the two. Yep, there we go, it's a piece of jewelry, it's a ring. And there you go. Now there's some other stuff in here you can grab. There's like ammo and stuff, if you want that. I don't believe there's anything in this lockbox. Oh, there is. What is this? It is Rifle Ammo Express. Uh, and I'll take these revolver cartridges. Uh, but yeah, there. that's pretty much it for this spot. Like I said, this is the best one I could find for today. Not really much going. The, the ones we're looking for is whenever the coin is in Window Rock and whenever the coin is at Manzanita. Those are the two most important ones, especially the whenever the coin's up here. This one's crazy. But unfortunately, we just got a little arrowhead at the fort down here. It's better than nothing. It's better than some spots. Again, thank you guys for 35,000 subs. If you do want to uh, continue watching my stuff and you like it, then please consider subscribing because we will be on our way to 35.1. We're 35% uh, of the way to 100,000 subscribers. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and sub button. You'll see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I ain't got no more talking.